friends! Hello! Welcome! Today we are doing another three minute spoiler free thriller review and what are we talking about today? It's going to be The Holdout. So essentially this book is about a murder trial where there are a series of jurors that initially at the beginning of the trial they all claim that the alleged murderer is is guilty. They say yeah this guy's guilty lock him up. But there's one juror, the holdout, who says, no, I think this guy is not guilty. And essentially the story unfolds from there. So what did I think about this book? Well, I, I enjoyed it. I thought, I think at the end of the day, I think this book is probably a three star, maybe a four star read if I'm feeling generous, but I would say probably three stars. Here's kind of the reasoning of what I liked, what I didn't like. I liked the entertainment value. There was a lot of action. There was a lot of just like stuff happening. The second thing that I thought was good about it is I thought that the writing style was really unique. So basically there was one main character who was the holdout and they had chapters throughout the book that were devoted to each of the different jurors on the trial. You got the main perspective of the main character but then you also got kind of a glimpse from all the different perspectives in the room. So I thought that was unique and interesting and I liked that aspect of it. That being said there were a few things that I didn't like. I feel like I kind of got a little bit of whiplash in this book. I'm not gonna lie. Like I feel like they would start talking about one thing. I thought we were going in one direction. I thought like we were headed down the path of like some storyline and then it'd be like nope we're talking about this. It was just a little all over the place and I thought it it crossed the line a little bit into scattered territory a little bit and yeah I, I didn't love that. Also it there were some things that were a little bit cheesy that I was like, okay, nah, I don't know, a little crossover into the cheesy category. And I think if I had to pick the kind of cheese that this book had, it was Swiss cheese because there were a lot of plot holes. I don't want to call them plot holes because they weren't holes. There were just a lot of storylines that were unresolved and there were all of these like scandalous things that would happen with the different jurors and I thought like oh my god like this is this is where we're going this is the new storyline and it would just never be followed up again like it was just a dead end storyline kind of and I get why it was like that because I feel like if you have a chapter devoted to each different juror on a jury trial that's a lot of different people that you're trying to learn about that you're trying to tell a story about but I just felt like I felt like something was kind of missing where it was just it was just a little too scattered and there was too many like dead end storylines that were interesting but didn't necessarily lead to anything uh, if you don't really care about that I would recommend it honestly. I think if you want looking for a good solid courtroom type of thriller and you haven't read one before I would recommend picking this book up and that's it. Bye guys.